So my YouTube subscribers, my rideshare friends, I have three books in front of me. Let's just put them in order here. Uh, the Rideshare Guide by Harry Campbell. Uh, the Rideshare Driver Tax Guide by Joseph Starzik. And um, Driving Profits and Making Bank by Jonathan Wong. I don't really want to spend too much time on this thick book. Um, I honestly don't think the guy has ever driven Uber or Lyft. I think he just tried to get some book sales. It's um, very generic, uh, the, uh, very, very short little, uh, you know, phrases here and there. It has no depth. It has no value to me. And I gave it a two star um, rating. There it is. So that's out the way. I wouldn't waste my money, but I did, did want to see what it's about. Um, for those guys um, who are really battling or having issues with the taxes, you know, I think this is priced under $8. It's a tiny, tiny little book. I was looking for a little bit more juice and substance. I was looking for a little bit more on, on, on the apps that people could use or the software programs. Talks about the income tax, the self-employment income, the forms, the 1099 quarterly estimates, standard mileage rate versus actual expense method, tracking business mileage, maintaining a proper mileage log, deductible business expenses, deducting a business loss, documentation and record keeping requirements, the forms, how to prepare your tax return and other rideshare items. Now, also not to spend too much time on this, totally, totally worth the money. Great job. Did, did I want to see a little bit more beef in this? Yes, but just this little book is going to save you thousands. So the cool thing is that Harry Campbell even mentioned this book, right? Um, so he's incorporated some of that into this book. Now let's go to my, um, firstly, let's go to my mentor, Harry Campbell, um, by far the most thorough uh, person in the ride share business, right? He truly, truly understands what it takes to connect with drivers. You know, he's, he's been in UberX, he's been in other categories. And a shout out and a huge thank you to Harry for uh, mentioning me in chapter seven and dedicating two pages to me in, in, in chapter nine. Thank you very much. It's a total gentleman of you to do that. And, um, you know, we, we, we're a family here and we help each other out. And, and again, I'm going to give books the critiques that I think they should uh, deserve, right? And um, all I can say is spend the $9.99 on Amazon. I'm going to put the link right underneath it. I gave it a full five stars. I would go beyond that. Um, the gentleman is an engineer. If you know him, if you've met him, I've, I've had lunch with him and discussed in length the rideshare business. You'll quickly understand that um, he's the go-to source, even quoted by the Uber CEO, Dara. So they, they all take this gentleman very serious. And the book is serious. Uh, it's, it, it has tons of substance. It'll teach you so much and more. I just want to highlight a few. Uh, why he drives for Uber and Lyft. Uh, what is it like to be a rideshare driver? How to get started as a driver? Goes through all the different categories, explains them very, very well. Chapter three, what's it like to give your first ride? You know, very important fact, a lot of people have stage flight. He goes through that, the checklist, how to conduct the ride, ending the ride. Deep, deep information, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, chapter four, how can you become a five-star driver again? I preach that in a lot of my uh, videos, he explains it very, very well. And, and both of us totally understand that a five star driver simply just gets more tips, right? And you should show up with your five stars on every trip. So don't just say, oh, I'm doing this, whatever, I don't care what I'm getting rated. Uh, read, read chapter four, you know, if you want to improve your game. Chapter five, how do I maximize my profits? Um, Love this topic. That's also what I'm all about. Analyzing, looking where you can do better and constantly increasing the game. Chapter six, how should I deal with difficult passengers and challenging situations? Uh, 
anticipate them, read up about these situations that you will come across, so you'll be very, very well prepared. Um, you know, talks a bit about dash cams, service animals, pukers, he has, a, he has an article uh, dedicated to that. Chapter 7, where can I find driver support community and resources? Great uh, chapter in that book, mentions a lot of the go-to people, websites, etc., um, including myself, thank you. Chapter 8, what does it take to be an independent contractor, including taxes? Again, mentions the, the, the tax guide book, um, you know, your mileage deducts and other deductions. But I say I, I would buy them together. I really would, right, and read both in one night, right? Chapter 9, how can you diversify your right, your income? Very, very important. I always say that as well. Don't box yourself in just two hands on the wheel. So many ways you can monetize yourself. It's in there. Um, chapter 10, what does the future look like for ride share drivers? Uh, very interesting reading. Um, him dedicating, I'd say, a good um, you know, 10 pages to that. Um, should there be worries about self-driving cars, etc. Harry's take on it, very interesting. It was part of our conversation at lunch, pops up here in the book. So lots of acknowledgements, you know, Rachel Holt quoted him. A valuable resource for folks who want to get even more out of the experience driving with Uber. By the way, she's um, the Uber VP and regional general manager. She, she, you know, she, she gave him a quote there. Um, becoming a righteous driver can serve as a pathway to freedom. Chris Gulabio, New York Times best-selling author, also sent um, Harry his input on the book. Uh, Randy Shear, another great guy in the top five, top three, I would say. Randy Shear, Uberman, uh, wrote an impressively comprehensive book. I highly recommend it to all drivers, seasoned or brand new. It's a one-stop shop for everything you need to know about becoming a rideshare driver and maximizing your income. Very well said, Randy. I mean, that sums it up, right? Those three sentences, I, I concur 100%. Um, Harry Campbell also has a very successful blog. Uh, it's a go-to guide uh, for me as well called therideshareguide.com. I will also mention that link beneath uh, the video. Um, Laura Copeland, let's not exclude her. She is a Lyft's head of driver communication. She says it's a guide every driver should have in their glove box. I have it in my glove box. Um, get it for your glove box. I'm going to send out three copies, right? Um, leave me a little something. I'll read it as to why um, you would like the book. Um, I will choose three people um, and I will mail them out to you. Okay, I've got a couple of copies. I want to share this valuable information with you. So those will go out. So feel free to leave a little uh, note if you've read the book. You know, your, your input is, is, is welcome here in the channel. And uh, my friends, that's my book review. So out of the three, um, a must-have Amazon 999 spend it. I would get the tax book, a bottle of eucalyptus oil, and this book, and let's say you would be in for under $25, right? You will be making more tips. You'll learn everything um, in this book. Um, I also have a ton of videos and a rideshare platform where you can learn a lot called Rideshare Driving School. Harry has an amazing uh, a training platform as well, also mentioned in this book, completely worth the money. And I um, appreciate, if, if Harry watches this, I appreciate you as a friend. I appreciate you being part of the industry. And I'm really happy that I came across your videos when I started out. I hold you in the highest regards, my friend. And again, you did a phenomenal job on this book. Everyone, drive safe.